Shalom and welcome to day 40 of the Counting of the Omer. Today we explore the concepts of Hod, Shebe, Yasod. During day 40, we are focusing on Hod, Shebe, Yasod. Hod is spelled H-O-D. Hod is short for Hoda'a, which ultimately means thankfulness, gratitude, and acknowledging that we are blessed because of Father Yahweh. It also can mean humility, splendor, steadfastness, or faith, and our ability to esteem Father Yahweh. We have been focusing on the weekly attribute of Yasod, which we know is righteousness, a connection with Father Yahweh, strengthening our bond, and the foundational truths of Father Yahweh, which we can find in his Torah. Now, to start things off, what is humility? From a dictionary standpoint, humility is freedom from pride or arrogance. Now, from a scriptural standpoint, in Proverbs 22, verse 4, we read that humility is the fear of Yahweh. Its wages are riches and honor and life. So basically, humility is fearing Yahweh, which is also a mitzvah, an instruction guideline um, that Father Yahweh wants us to abide by. Humility is acknowledging and being thankful that Yahweh is the source of all things. It involves recognizing his works and being grateful for them. While pride keeps us focused on ourselves, misleading us to believe we are the source of our achievements. Yahweh teaches us in Proverbs 11:2 that when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. So pride can be harmful because it can bring on disgrace. In Psalm Tehillim 25, 8-9, through 9, it reads that Good and upright is the Mighty One, therefore He instructs sinners in His ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them His way. So here we see that Father Yahweh, when we are humble, will guide us and he will teach us his ways, which is our ultimate goal in life. What is righteous humility? True humility comes from recognizing and acknowledging Yahweh in our lives. Humility connects and bonds us with Father Yahweh. How do we practice righteous humility? We do so by recognizing Yahweh in every situation. We make a conscious effort to see Yahweh's hand in all aspects of our lives. We also thank Him for all things. We develop an attitude of gratitude, consistently thanking Yahweh for His blessings. And lastly, we remember our place. We always keep in mind that we are where we are because of Yahweh's favor and His guidance. In conclusion, by understanding and practicing the principles of Hod Shebe Yasod and embodying true humility, true righteous humility, we can strengthen our bond with Yahweh and live a life that is pleasing to Him. Let us strive to recognize Yahweh's presence in every situation, express gratitude for His works, and remain humble, acknowledging Him as the source of all things. Thank you for joining me today. May we all grow in righteous humility and deepen our connection with Yahweh. Please stay tuned for the Omer Count. Baruch Ata Yahweh Yao Henu Malek Ha Olam Asher Kiddishanu Bemetzvatav Vitsivanu Al Safirat Ha Omer. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Almighty One, King and Ruler of the Universe, who has set us apart with his mitzvot and instructed us concerning the counting of the Omer. Today is forty days, which is five weeks and five days of the Omer. May the Merciful One restore unto us the service of the Bet Hamikdash to its place speedily in our days. Amen. For the choir master, a song with instrumental music, a psalm. May Yahweh be favorable to us and bless us. May he make his countenance shine upon us forever. That your way be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. The nations will extol you, O Yahweh. All the nations will extol you. The nations will rejoice and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples justly and guide the nations on earth forever. The peoples will extol you, O Yahweh. 
all the peoples will extol you, for the earth will have yielded its produce, and Yahweh, our mighty one, will bless us. Yahweh will bless us, and all from the farthest corners of the earth shall fear him. We implore you, by the great power of your right hand, Yeshua HaMashiach, release the captive. Accept the prayer of your people. Strengthen us, purify us, Yah someone. Mighty one, we beseech you. Guard as the apple of the eye those who seek your oneness. Bless them, cleanse them, bestow upon them forever your merciful righteousness. Powerful, Kadosh, set apart one. In your abounding goodness, guide your congregation. Only and exalted one, turn to your people who are mindful of your Kadoshness. Accept our supplication and hear our cry. You who know secret thoughts, blessed be the name of the esteem of his kingdom forever and ever. Master of the universe, you have commanded us through Moshe, your servant, to count Sephirat HaOmer in order to purify us from our evil and uncleanness. As you have written in your Torah, you shall count for yourselves from the day following, the day of rest, from the day on which you bring the Omer as a wave offering. The counting shall be for seven full weeks, until the day following, the seventh week, shall you count fifty days, so that the souls of your people, Yisrael, may be cleansed from their defilement. Therefore, may it be your will, Yahweh our Mighty One, and the Mighty One of our scriptural forefathers, that in the merit of the Sephirat HaOmer, which we and I have counted today, the blemish that we and I have caused in the Sephirah Hod Shebe Yasod be rectified, and we and I may be purified and set apart with your Kadoshness. May abundant bounty thereby be bestowed upon all the worlds. May it rectify our Nefesh, our Ruach, and our Neshama from every baseness and defect, and may it purify and set us apart with your Kadoshness. Amen.